I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. With me is Mariana Galvin, a sophomore on the Priory Girls soccer team. Last week, uh, Mariana played in two CCS Division Three matches. Uh, in the first one, she scored four goals. She had one assist. Uh, as Priory defeated Anzar six to nothing in the second match, uh, number five seeded Priory defeated number four seeded Santa Catalina. Mariana had three goals, one assist for the week, seven goals, two assists. That put uh, Priory into the uh, CCS semifinals, and for that performance, she is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Uh, obviously, two big matches, two kind of lopsided matches last week, but the important one was obviously beating uh, Santa Catalina, the number four seed. Um, you guys have been, again, 13 goals in two matches. Uh, just sort of very explosive. Is that kind of unusual, or just has the season sort of led up to that? Um, I think it's unusual. Like, the girls don't expect, didn't ex expect us to go this far. And as you can tell, we, we are making it pretty far since from, like, the previous years. But I think it's going to be a challenge for us in the upcoming games. The uh, last season, your freshman season, you missed the entire year with a, a torn ACL. Uh, this year you came back healthy. You, you missed one week. You were off training with the uh, uh, 18 and under national team. Uh, so your, your health this year has, been, has really been kind of crucial for your good health, has been crucial for your team? Yeah, I think it makes I make a huge difference on the team. Like they, they were excited to play with me last year, but since this injury occurred, um, I was kind of sad as well because I wanted to play in my freshman year, but unfortunately I couldn't. So now my sophomore year, I'm back again, and I'm with the team, and we're doing uh, better than I expected. So I think the ACL injury, coming back from it, helped us a lot. Seeing, uh, being able to watch last season's team and playing on this year's team, uh, what's the difference between the two teams, if, if there is any? The difference between Santa Catalina. Last year, no, oh, last year's oh, last year. Well, last year they had two, I think, two key players on the team, which were seniors, but they graduated. And now this year we have a few young ones with three seniors remaining. So I think we should be um, well for the next season as well. So I think it should be good. The uh Priory girls team is in the semifinals this week. If they win, they get to the uh, championship match on Saturday. The number one uh, seeded team, Scotts Valley, has already been eliminated. Uh, the number three seeded team, Sacred Heart Prep, lost their top player to the uh, 20 and under national team. It almost seems like the door is, is open for your team. Uh, Priory has not been in, in the, uh, has never won a CCS title, has not been in the finals since 2008. Uh, there's obviously a lot to be achieved this week. Yeah, like it's a good chance for us to make it all the way since and you, we don't know the results between Live Oak and Sacred Heart. So I think if we all put our hearts into the game, we would be we, we should be able to get the title for Priory for the first time. Well, good luck the rest of the way. Congratulations. Thank you.